Good evening, folks. It is Christmas night, and I hope everybody had a wonderful day. Now, before I go to tonight's selection, bouncing back to last week, I left a quiz at the end. And then I realized somehow the comments were turned off and you could not comment on it with the answer. So let me go back and I'll just go ahead and uh, cover that real quick. Last week's quiz was what movie did Irving Berlin's classic song, White Christmas, first appear? So if you were on it and did not cheat and you were going to comment Holiday Inn, movie from 1942 starring Bing Crosby and Fred Astaire, you would have been correct. Congratulations. Now the song was also in a few more movies. 1946's Blue Skies starring Fred Astaire and Bing Crosby. And it wasn't actually until 1954 that the song was in the movie White Christmas. That movie starred Bing Crosby Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. A Christmas classic to this day. So again, Holiday Inn is the correct answer. Congratulations to all those who got it. Now, you notice the performers in those movies were all famous crooners. Now, tonight's offering is from Jack Daniels. You're probably wondering what does Jack Daniels and crooners have in common? Just going to cut to the chase. Frank Sinatra. So, December, December 12th specifically, would have been Frank's 105th birthday. So, it's obvious that this would be the month that Jack Daniels releases... And Santa was very good to me this year. Jack Daniels, Sinatra Select. A brew correction, a concoction specifically dedicated for Frank Sinatra. Now, Frank first had Jack Daniels about 1947 with Jackie Gleason. And upon first sip, it was reported Frank said, this is the nectar of the gods, to which I must agree. Small g on the gods part. But anyways, like I said, 12 December would have been his 105th birthday. Stand by for a quiz at the end of this one. Now what makes Sinatra Select different from a regular Jack Daniels? Well, the oak cask these are mellowed in have deep grooves cut into the inside, which a lot gives the whiskey more area to permeate and absorb that oak, rich oak flavoring and coloring. If you notice, uh, let's see if I can do the lighting right here, the amber color. That is uh, in part due to those deep grooves in the barrels. Now, I'm gonna pop this top, I have not popped it yet. So I am looking forward to it. Why don't we just cut to the chase here? All right. Cork. Remember what I said about corks? Must be quality if they have a cork in it and the aroma now. I'm not even. I am catching the aroma. The vanilla, the oak is just wafting up from the bottle. This is marvelous. Mm, it's so smooth. Cannot wait to try it. And I am going to try it. Now normally, you know, in my past, what I'll do is I'll take a shot of something. Well, tonight, in honor of Frank Sinatra, I am going to enjoy this Frank's way. Three, two, one. So let's begin. All right. Three, two, one, you're saying? What the heck's with the numbers? Okay, well, get your rocks glass right here. Three represents the rocks. Okay, now it's usually three or four. Um, stories have it that if he offered Frank some Jack with more than four ice cubes, he would say he wanted a drink, not ice skate. So, 
I got the three rods. The two, two fingers. Now, I've never done this, so you're gonna walk me right here. Two fingers. Here we take. And the one is one splash of water. Now what he would do is he would stir it up a little, very gently, let it mix together. Now what this is going to do, as opposed to a shot, is the water will actually help bring out the flavoring more in the whiskey. So let's go ahead and try it, shall we? And again, the mellow flavoring, excuse me, the mellow aroma, this wasp up your nose. You do, it's a very mellow flavor. More, you get that, the oakiness of the barrel. It finishes, finishing hints of vanilla. And this is very good. See, even my phone likes it. But anyways, Sinatra Select. Yeah, if you can put your, get your hands on this, it's a definite must. It is a little pricey, but definitely worth it. I can say that right now. Now, for my quiz tonight, and I will try to turn on the comments, but what film did Frank Sinatra win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor? Okay, that's your first question. Your second question is what Frank Sinatra hit did the line, if I could survive to 105, what is that song? And to this year would have been with his 105th birthday. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed my selection, Sinatra Select. I have another special treat next week, another Christmas gift. So be sure to tune in. And again, to Frank Sinatra, we love your music.